Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday Night Live. Excuse me, I'm trying to get set up here a little bit differently. A um, little bit of a late start here, just a couple of minutes. But I'm excited about tonight. Um, if you watched the video I put out earlier this afternoon, some happy mail today. And um, a little kit that I got for Mother's Day. And I decided to work on that tonight. So... I'm going to wait a few minutes here. But if you remember, the kit, this was the kit that I received. It was um, a little album for a camera kit. And I did do some um, playing around with it. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Jackie. I was just saying that if you watched my video earlier, um, I showed one of my, my Mother's Day gift was this beautiful little kit to put, hey, Michelle, to put um, a photo album together. It looked like a little camera. And I started playing with it this afternoon. And this is far I got because... The die itself is a little bit tricky if you don't have one of those long plates. This is the front, and this is the back of it. And it comes, it came with little rings somewhere in here. Yeah. So I thought we'd put one together. Michelle, I'm so excited that you're here. But let me show you how this die is. Okay. It comes in one big long piece like this. And this is too big. I don't have a plate that's big enough for this. I mean, they do have extension plates. And, um, of course, my uh, platform is big enough for it. But not the plates itself. Oh, my goodness. My dog is whining over there. But, anyway. But, I overcame. And, I I actually did. I'll show you with the little the ones I played with. I actually got it to cut out in one piece using a short platform that was a pain but um so i'm going to try a different approach tonight i am going to finish putting this one together because i like who makes the kit it is by it's called elizabeth crafts design that's what it is elizabeth crafts design i'll show it to you i got it from lolly palooza She's on YouTube, but she also has an Etsy shop. And but um, this was not in her shop. Uh, every once in a while, for her Facebook group, you know, she puts out little specials and stuff. And my daughter had told me, "Mom, if you see something you want for um, Mother's Day, let me know because you know you never know." But anyway, these are the mats. So I saw it, and I showed this on a Happy Mail, but. This, this, well, this is the page itself, and then this is the little mat that you cut out with it. And then it has all these little cute add ons and stuff that I'm not sure what they all are yet, but it has this, these little extra dots, and I think these are mostly decorations. This little camera one, I think, is together so you can use it like a tab, and then it has these right here, and I can see, you know, this being cut out. And then using that around the camera eye. And then these are like little different lenses that you can put in. I have yet to figure out what this is. Yet. This one. And I think these two are corners. But I don't know what this and that one is yet. <laughs> But um, but I'm going to figure it all out. I know this goes around the camera lens right here. This and this goes around that little lens thing. So we'll see. We're going to play around with it. And I thought I would do one for summer to make some summer pictures. Um, if I ever get to spend time with my grandchildren. I mean, you know, um, every year at Christmas time. My daughter buys a season pass for me to our local theme park. 
Um, and she, uh, and then I go with the grandkids. We go together to, to the, the theme park, little Carowinds theme park. And then they have a water park there and we do that. So, um, yeah. So the paper I'm going to be using tonight is this right here. It's called Paradise Beach. It is really cute. And I like that the first page is not left out because they put cut aparts on the first page. But I'm going to go ahead and put this down here and then I can show it to you. And then we can go ahead and get started assembling one of these. Um, so I was going to cut out all the parts first, but then that would not, you know, you wouldn't see how, how to do whatever. So not that I know a whole lot about doing it. So hang on a second. I'm going to put you down here. I've been having problems with my, um, that's a little bit too far, my um, tripod recently. I lost a, a piece of it broke off and, um, okay, can everybody see? So anyway, this is the page, the, the paper we're going to be using. And I'm going to use this for the cover. Okay. I'm going to use this for the cover. And this is the back side. The one thing I found out that you want to do is use double-sided paper with this. Because what I had to do is I had to cut this out twice. And then glue the both halves together so that the inside was covered as well. But, um... I mean, it can be done. If you got some cute single-sided paper, just cut it out twice. The only thing when you're die-cutting it out twice, you're going to cut one with the paper up and then one with the paper down so that it, you can get equal parts. And then I thought this would be cute for to add some little pages to it. And then they have this lined. And this is really cute with the seashells and stuff. I've had this paper forever and ever and a day, and I was almost going to include it in the, oh, thanks. I was almost going to include it in a deep stack, but I decided, no, I wanted to save it to work on this. Um, so this, and that's the other side. I love that live in the sunshine. And then this is the back side of that. And I love this little polka dots. I love polka dots. And then here's a little surfboards. I think that's really cute. If we ever get to go to the water park, that'd be really cute because they have like a little surf area. And then this is just some kind of parts on this side. And then this, the leaves. And then this is not with the kit, but I put it in there because I thought it'd be cute to do a little page of acetate. I thought that would be really cute. And then, then this is a sticker page that came with it. So we can embellish maybe a little bit with that. But there's not a whole lot of room in the in the um, with the paper to embellish a lot. I mean, there is some, but first thing I want to do is just get everything cut apart. So let's do the let's do the cover first, the camera part. Because this is the um, this is the trickiest part, and you really do need a piece of twelve by twelve um, to cut this out. So we're, let's let's get my cutting board out here and trim this off. And so I'm just going to do about four inches. I think that'll be fine. We'll go five. Now I'm going to show you how. I'll show you real quick how I did it the first time. But I'm not going to cut it like that. I want to try a different way. So what I did when I first cut the first one out. Because I knew it wouldn't fit. See it's perfect size for my platform. And if I had the long plates, I'd have no problem. But I don't have any long plates. And I don't have any um, shims. 
I went to grab my magnetic plate, but for some reason I thought it was long enough, but it wasn't long enough. So what I did was I put a plate down and then I put my paper down and then I put the camera down and then I put the plate on. I ran it through and then I had this much right here, about an inch that wouldn't go through. So when I, what I did was I took it off, lined it back up, turned it around this way so the paper would go through. And then I lined this back up with the cut part and I used the holes as a reference, lined it up, used a piece of washi tape to hold it on there and finish cutting it. But this time I want to see if I can do it because the album really will do better if you um, cut this separately because you need to cut the, um, the back from the top because it fits better. So if you're going to do that anyway, I don't know why they didn't do that. So all I'm going to do is put this down here like this. I'm going to just do that cutting edge right here. I'm going to put it in the middle and line this little curvy part up here where the two pages separate, the two halves separate. And then I'm just going to take a little piece of washi tape. Because you know where there's a wheel, there's a way. I'm going to take that piece of washi tape and I'm going to tape it down. Just so it holds that in place. Whoops. i got to go back and get the whole thing in. Okay. And I'm just using my fingers to make this tacky. So please forgive me if this shakes the table. I am trying really hard for it not to, but I can't make any promises. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Looks like I could fold and do what? Okay. I missed that. Looks like you could fold the two together if you cut it out as one big long piece, but like you said, not sure why you would want. Right. And I tried to do that before. And when you fold it in half, like originally I had cut this out one long piece and it was all together. And originally, when you put the pages in, the pages stick out a little bit because you can't get a good, you know, thing in there, a good fit in there with the pages together. And if you look on, like, the suggestion board or whatever, you see that these are apart. They're not even together. So I don't understand why they put the die together. Now, see, I cut out that half. Now we're going to turn it around. This one should take down. And you get this cute little circle. So now I'm going to turn it around. On this side. And line it up. Exactly like I had this one. So we get the holes and everything and then take that down so it doesn't move and then if it's a little off we can trim it up but I think this should get it because Donna will find a way to make it work. <laughs> And then there's the back half. Let me put this down out of the way for a second. Okay, so they, it cuts real nice. The die cuts real nice. 
I'm going to save this little piece of paper here because you never know. We might could cut something out of that. So that's, that's this part cut out. And you only need one of these cut. Now, as far as the pages go, you cut as many as you want to put in your album. But these should match up perfect now. And they do. So cutting it like that, you know, just lining it up on the edge, it'll be fine. So then um, we're going to pick some paper out to cut our little frame. And on a 6x6, six six, if you cut it right, you should be able to get nine things out of a page, probably. I don't know, but I want to see if this will fit on that little piece of paper we left. Eh, that would be really close. I wanted to cut this orange out and put it around the front of the camera, but that's too small. But I have another piece over here. So I may do that for the camera. I think that would be cute on the front. So we'll do that in a minute. So this is a really cute kit, and um, Lolly said she will be having them in the store. She's not sure when they'll be coming in, um, but I'll leave a link below to her store. So, let's pick some paper out to cut. Um, what did I just do with my... All right, I'm losing parts, y'all. They, they should not be giving me stuff that has so many parts to it. <laughs> Because I use them. I'm missing the part that cuts the pages. The big one of these with the holes in it. What did I do? Okay. This ain't cool. This is not cool. There's that. There's these. There's that. I don't see it on the floor around to me. How did I lose something like that? It's right. It was right here. Goodness gracious. Well, I gotta have that to cut my pages out. But honest to goodness, I don't know where it went. That's strange, y'all. It's just right here. Let's see if it's underneath this one anywhere. Nope. Not like I can put you on pause and go look for it either. <laughs> okay, talk to amongst yourselves and maybe I stuck it in here. I want to put these for some pages, I know. And I'd like to do the seashell for some pages. And then one contrasting color in between with something with all of these. I was thinking of these three pages right here for pages in it. Um, and then I actually might use solid color paper. And I want to do this um, surfboard one. And uh, this one. The acetate. So let's move the rest of these out of the way. For right now, we may come back and revisit. But right now, we're not going to do anything until I find a little, a little piece here. <laughs> oh my gosh! I've been doing a lot of crafting on my um. This is how the big page cuts out, though. I've been doing a lot of crafting on my table in here. Just um. Trying things out. I actually have videos made for y'all next week. Aren't we proud of me? I'm ahead of the game. Except for, I don't know what I did with This is ridiculous. I just showed it to y'all. Okay, maybe my coffee cup out of the way. 
I may have to get up and look around the table for a minute, guys. I don't know where this thing went. That is the darndest thing it, I've ever seen. How could I die, lose that quick? Now, I could just make it with all these pages right here. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. I really don't know what happened to this. Okay, here it is. I found it. I saw it. I saw it. It went over there to the floor. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to cut some of these out. And some of these, and I think these are, let me give you a, a measurement on them. These are about three, three and a quarter inches wide this way. And the whole album is um, three and a, the pages are three and a quarter by four and seven eighths. So... If we cut each sheet up into, go ahead and slice it up and get prepped. We, like I said, we can get a lot of pages out of here. I may not get finished with all of it tonight, but we're going to try. Because I have a special announcement for... All those who hang around till the end. I don't know if this is cut all this or not, but we're going to say This is probably thick as chipboard, so it hit me. I almost cut all of it. Got three of them. I got four. It'll come off. Okay. Almost cut it all the way off. There we go. So let's just do two at a time. I put a new blade in, so we're gonna do cut these into fourths. also use them to create mats and the reason I like double-sided paper is because it gives you a lot of options you can turn your paper one way and then another way okay so all these are the same now and I run them through uh oh something ain't right anyway I run them through um Paper. I think I'm only going to do like two of these. I may do later. I don't know yet. Anyway, I run them through the long way so that I can just get keep putting them back in there. So I don't know that this dial will cut out two um, things at a time. And since this has stitched lines on it, I don't want to do that. So let's cut out our pages first and I'm not sure how it's going to do with um, sure how it's going to do with um, acetate either but we'll see so all I'm going to do is put my paper on here and then run it through actually we'll get two on here Yeah, you know, I need some new plates. Uh, it sounds like my plates are breaking every time I run it through here. I will never forget the first time I ever ran this thing through. And I heard that snap, crackle, pop. 
I remember calling May May. Oh, this cut out really cute. Um, I remember calling May May because I was asking her about which one to get at the time. And she said this was a decent one because I had gotten this one on sale. It was on sale for $50. And then I had a coupon for... Um, not a coupon, but like a gift code for $10 off of that. And then I had another 25% off even sell item. So I wound up getting it something like $25 or something like that. So, and that's what you have left. So I'm just going to cut out several of these. And like I said, we may not, um, we may not finish everything because I do want to cut out some of the little, um, embellishments and at least do the front cover because I really think I have enough to do out of these sheets at least a couple of albums and they really do cut nicely and I'm just going to turn it around and run it right back through I know this is boring. I probably should have done this beforehand, but I really wanted to show you how I was cutting that cover and stuff. But I could have done this part, huh? But I really like y'all's participation and comments, which I don't see a whole lot of right now. But I'm just going to run each one of, I mean, just run these sheets through each one. And then, um, and then I'll stop, run a couple of mats through and we'll start putting it, show you how to put it together. Cut, cut out some little tiny pieces. And we got some pages right there. We'll cut this one out and then we'll... I'll cut the rest of them out later. I'll just cut some other little mats so we have something to do. If you're still hanging in there, you ever yell, let me know. I'm trying to watch her comments, y'all. If I miss you, I'm sorry, but I'm, I am trying to watch. Okay. So we're going to put this over here to the side for a minute. <laughs> and I really kind of want to do some solid colors for mats. So I am going to use these for um, pages too. But I want to run that. Um, I want to use this piece of paper right here, which this is too wide to go through. I want to run a strip of that from my camera. Y'all, y'all like the way I do this stuff here? I'm just sticking this on top of this just to get a strip of paper. <laughs> okay. Let's cut out some decorations and I'll do the mats later, maybe. I want to cut this uh, sunshine look out of this right here. on this side because it's the side I want and while I'm at it let's put the rest of the um the things on for the camera to cover up the lenses this right here oh man this stuff is stuck this covers up like the little lens part and stuff like that so let's put that on there and do that same thing and we're going to use the sunshiny one thing. Let me know what y'all think this might be. I don't know. It's got little holes in it. So I don't know what this might be. 
And I'm not really sure about that either. Unless this is just an outline. Yeah, this is just an outline for that. But I'm going to cut a couple of these out. Just to show you about the tabs on here. And then I need to find a little container or something to put all this in so I don't lose all these dyes. Alright, we're going to run this through. And we'll be able to do the cover at least. And then I'm going to put this together on my own later, I guess. And I'll post it on Facebook and Instagram. Let's just get some pieces out of here. Oh, I thought these were together, but you know what? They're not. But that's okay. There we go. All right. Let's put this down out of the way and start looking at this thing. Okay, so here is all the little pieces. I think this goes around the lens. This goes around the camera lens. This I cut out. This little tiny camera. This is so cute. Look how cute that is to do like a little mini camera. <laughs> I don't understand that one, but we'll see. This page. Here's a page. Okay, and here's the front and back. Okay, so this is what we got. Front and back, we got some pages. I didn't cut out mats yet. <clears throat> what I'll do is do like I did on my other one. We'll we'll do a I'll post a picture of it, but um I'll do a little video when I get it all put together. So this is gonna go around here and make the front of the camera. And then this will go right here. And then this will go right there. Isn't that cute? So let's put that together. What kind of glue am I going to use? I guess I'll use this right here. Hi, Julia. It's nice to see you. Putting together my Mother's Day gift. It's a little die set to do a photo album. Um, in shape of a camera. And it's got the holes and everything punched for you. It's got a lot of, a million pieces to die cut and stuff, but um, I thought I would, I should have die cutted everything beforehand, but I really wanted to show it, show it off and everything. You're not saying much. I don't know if you're still here or what. <laughs> I don't mean to bore you. I am so excited about this though. Oh my gosh, look how cute that's going to be. Okay. Oh. See, this is why I love using double-sided paper. <laughs> Because you can make it so cute. All right. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And look. Look how cute this is. Oh. That would be really cute on there. Or we could do the back side. 
and make it a solid camera. I don't know. To me, that looks like a file folder on the back side. <laughs> but it, it, like I said, it's got all these cute little parts to here. Um, this right here is like a page protector. A little roll of film that you can put on here. And you can actually glue pages together too to um, make like uh, a pocket to tuck in some, um, you know, cards or something like that, a tag or something. So lots of options here. Lots of options. Okay, so let's look. And, when, I'm not going to decorate anymore right now. Okay, so the kit comes with three rings. But you all know we can get these from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and then you just put your... Oh, open your rings. Boy, these are tight rings. They're not like the Dollar Tree. Okay. <laughs> They're very tight. But I think you can do a lot of embellishing. You can make this really cute. Gosh darn it. My hands are not good. <laughs> We've all established this though. Oh, there we go. So we're just going to... Layer our rings in there if I can get them to stay. And I will put the little protector things on them too. I think that adds some style. Oh, good. What you making, Michelle? All right. Let's close these up just a little bit so they don't fall off every time I turn around. All right, so then we're just going to put our little papers on here. Now, I didn't cut any mats. These are the pages. So, I didn't cut any mats yet, but, um, because I didn't know if y'all wanted to actually see me take the time to do that. Like I said, usually, you know, it would be easier to do than try to do all this. Probably the smart thing to do, too. Just kind of stack them up. <laughs> I'm going to put one of these in the middle. I think. And like this. And then like this. And the holes line up all nice and neat, y'all. I'm so happy about that. And then you put the camera on. Then you put all the little thingies in. Sometimes my brain don't work that well. I've been sniffing too much fabric tack. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have more, more pages in it than this. But look how cute when you open that up. And I'm loving this. A little acetate page in there. Just cute. And then that's the back page. Now... Is there anything y'all want to see me do or put on them or anything? I mean, I'll be glad to cut these out. I just didn't think if y'all wanted to wait. Oh, you're doing your invitations for your daughter's wedding. That's right. So here's the rest of the pieces. Like I said, it comes with the little, um, little pieces to cover the outside of the camera. Like this part right here. It comes with... Little things that the, the little here's the little camera thingy. Um, it comes with 
little smiley faces. You can put the circle on the outside instead of the flower thingy. A little thing that says smile. I think these are page corners. This is a little grid thing that you can put over the front. Yeah, I'd like to see. Let's do that. Let's cut out the one, I, especially the one, one I don't know what it is. This one says look, I think, and this one says smile. I know these are page corners, and this is just like a, a little emoji smile face. Okay, we'll do some of them. Let's pick a paper that we have not used yet. Let's do one of these with the surfboard. And we'll put them all on there at one time. And we'll even cut out one of the little mats. We'll cut out one of the little mats. Um, I like this side for the mat, though, and the other side. Well, we'll do that one last. No, I want to do it together. Okay. I'll do it afterwards. Such indecision on that part, right? Let's cut some pieces out. See what they are. Yeah, I'd like to see what that is too, Michelle. Okay, so let's put a piece of paper down. All right. So here's those little thingies. We don't quite know what they are yet. Let me take the sticky tape off because if I don't, it'll stick into everything. Lay that down. This might make so much sense when we get it all cut out, but I don't know yet. Lay that down. Here's some page corners with a little hearts on them. I think it's a darling. And let's see. We'll do smile. And we'll do the little emoji face. We'll just get some little stuff on here that little parts to it. And see what it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to cut everything out in the same color. That will look. And we'll put one of these on there. All right, let's see what this looks like. And then we might cut out another mat. Let's turn it that way because I don't want the big old crack. I think this one moved, so I don't know if he's cut out or not. Oops. Now, see, that's I got to worry about. Put them all in the right place. All right. This one did not cut out all the way, but I can fix it. Whatever it is. Let's move it all out of here. Let me get all this stuff off, and then I'll put this down, and we can see... Oh, look at the little teeny heart that came out of the little eyeball. Okay. I want one of those small things that fit on the table. You know? All right. I'm going to have to take my scissors and finish cutting this one out because it did not cut out. Alright, Michelle, help me out. Here's the two pieces <laughs> that I cut out. Now, it has a little score line in it. Like that. And like this. Oh, you know what that is? <laughs> That's a page corner. You know, to stick it on your, um, stick it on your pages to do like a protector kind of thing. See? How cute is that? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so that's what that is. 
Okay, here's the little thing that you put on your um, on your thing for help protects the holes. And both of these are page corners. I guess they gave you one for the one that goes one way and one that goes the other way so that it, you can have the right angles and stuff. So that's what those are. So let's put that over there because I don't want to lose them. Okay, this is the word. This is a little die cut here. And it says, let me get all the paper off of it. I need my little pokey tool over here. Do I have one? Yep, I do. Okay, this one says, look. Can you see that? Let's see. Put it on the back of a paper. It says, look. And these are just corners right here. Little tiny corners that you can put on your pages. And I guess it has a little tiny hole for it like if you want to put a brad through it. But they have the see-through hearts. But then look at the little hearts that come out of it. Now here's a little tiny one. You could build those up and make something out of it. Then here's the little smiley face. I love the emoji smiley face with the heart smile. And then this one, um, let me get it all weeded out. This one says smile. Cute. Cute, cute. Let's put something on the front. I don't like that one. This is too close to the I don't like that side either. <laughs> Too close to the, the cover anyway. Anyway, that's what everything is. And I'm thinking that you can make, somehow we can make this cover a shaker too. I'm thinking about that. Hold on one second. This might be too big, but I'm looking at the holes not big enough. I know this is too too small. I am I'm taking another package for. So I have these jelly bean flower things right here. I've never opened them while I started to just now. They make shakers, but they usually have something to go over them. And they did it. They were sent to me in happy mail a long time ago. But I'm going to figure out a way to make these work on something. Anyway. So. What would y'all like to see me do? I'm going to make some. Um, let's cut. One of these. Um. mats out just to see what they look like. I want to use this side right here. Oh, yep. I need one of those little tabletop, um, tabletop, like a big, I have a little tiny one, but these aren't quite big enough. I mean, it's not quite big enough for this size of die. So I need a different one. And they have them on HSN, but the I can't remember what they're called, but I cannot afford them. I've seen a couple of people use them. I know... Uh, Fa Christy, uh, Faithful Designs by Christy. She has one, and it's so cute. And it, it's really weird. It comes with its own, like, embossing fold, like, with its own cutting, and it's not a plate. It's a folder, 
And every time you order a, a die set or something that they can go through there, they send you another folder. So I don't know if the folders wear out real easy or not, but let's see. Let's find a page this will fit on. And see, you could do this. Like you could put paper behind there and then put a picture here in the middle which is most likely what I would do, but I'm not going to do it right now because I don't know if that's what I want to do. But this is the size of a mat. And the mats are four inches by two and three quarters. So you can get like a, a two by three or a three by two picture on here. But the mats fit just like that. I'm not sure if I like that on the yellow. I'm not going to put it on the acetate. I'm not going to put anything on the acetate. I just put the acetate in there for decoration. Okay. This is a mat. And look, let's do this. I'm not going to do these corners because, but I want to put this on here. How cute is that? Isn't that cute with a little corner thing on there? And there are, you can put down like look like this and just glue the bottom part down oh i know you can use the smile and stick the smile down here like this but just glue it on the very bottom so that your picture can still slide like your picture can still slide in like this how cute is that Okay, moving right along, and then I'd have to take out the pages to do the little page protector thingies in them, but and I'm and I will still do that. Look how cute this little smiley face is! So, this is probably not going to be a very long um, Thursday night live because <clears throat> if we did, if we completed this. It's just me with a bunch of doing a bunch of die cutting and stuff. And that ain't fun for everybody. I, I realize that. I wish I would have went ahead and cut everything out. But I really wanted to show you how it came and how to use it cutting and stuff. And I'm thinking, you know, you can also do like put two of these together like this. And then cut the metal out. And have a shaker page oh my gosh that just gives me an idea yep that gives me an idea hmm yep shaker page would be cute with the acetate too well if i figure this out and, and see if i can do it i'll show it to you you guys but i just think this is just the cutest little thing. I wish I did it in a different color now because I really wanted to put something down there. And I think this is too light. You can put it in the middle though, but I want to put a picture there. I'm going to take one of these little hearts and get a little bit of glue. There we go. Put a little heart on there. But I also have some gems and stuff I could, um, you know, just brighten this up with and everything. Like I said, I love these little page corners. Now, you can put these on. Um, these could go on the big pages and help protect the pages, the little corners of the page. Well, if I could ever get it on. 
But you know what I mean. I put it on there one time. <laughs> okay. Like that. And just protect the corners of them. And I wonder what it looks like on the other side. It doesn't look bad on the other side, too. It looks like a little tiny corner, so... Alright, what else would y'all like to see me do? Do you want me to do any more to this? Or you just want to see a little video of when I get it um when I get it finished. Oh, both pretty. What you think about the little bow? Maybe right there, but nah. Or right there. That's cute with a little bow on the bottom. Thank you, Michelle. All right, answer me a question before y'all go. Before you go. Because <laughs> I'm going to go, too. I got a couple of things I need to catch up on. And I need to finish a project for tomorrow. Um, I was tagged, and Jackie was tagged, too, by uh, Lady J Crafty, and um, who is another Jackie, um, to do... Um, I mentioned it Monday on Monday Morning Coffee to do a, a deer challenge for, um, hi Chris, um, a deer challenge. And, um, so we need to create something that is blue with glitter and using Mod Podge. So I've been trying to, I've been trying to, uh, work on that little project. What do y'all think, though? Bow or no bow? I like, you know, I like bows, so. Bow at the bottom or at the top? I'm thinking I like it better at the bottom. Thank you. It's made out of that. Uh, it's like fabric, but it's, um, I can't remember what it is. Um, and I didn't make it, by the way. I, um... Um, uh, Rebecca Create, Betsy made it for me. So, I know I would bow. So, I think I'm going to put it on at the bottom because I really don't like it at the top too much. It covers up what it really is supposed to be, like a camera. So, let's put this on here. So, tomorrow I'll be having a video up on this challenge thing. Jackie, did you finish yours yet? I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I couldn't find any hair gel. <laughs> so that that's a, that's a thing. So um, I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing with it, but because um, I might do it if I find some clear hair gel. I don't have a ride to Dollar Tree. Y'all know my car is still not working. I still haven't gotten it fixed yet because I'm still waiting on insurance money from the insurance company. Um, and they won't send me the money until I get a title. And I'm still waiting on DMV for that. So, I know, big time sadness. <laughs> I need my car. I hate depending on somebody to ride. <laughs> and then... You got all these nifty little circles from cutting out stuff from it. So, I'm going to be using these circles next week to do some summer embellishments. Because, you know, I'm not wasting anything. And, I'm not wasting these either. Who can guess what I'm going to do with these? I am going to put this in here, line this up, cut it in half, 
<clears throat> I'm going to cut a strip or two off of this one. Try to get it even. <clears throat> and I need to cut just a little bit off of this side. <clears throat> These make great... Let's say this is a card. Look, I mean, I, had, I need to cut it down and adjust it some, but look at that. You can make the cutest little card frames with them. So, and shaker frames. So, I'm not wasting them. I'm saving these, and, and these, the biggest strips I'm saving. And this is a cute one, too, where I cut that little thing out this is a small one i like that one too that'd be really cute on a card trim this down just a wee bit and um do a shaker out of that one for sure so i save all the big the big stuff oh and look oh blue this is blue <laughs> no i've already got my blue planned out if i can find the parts to what i want So, see, I waste nothing. I will make something out of these. Wait to see. Actually, I have an idea for this. For these. Um, did I ever show you guys the Valentine's uh, folio I made? It's like, it's like a long picture things. I don't know if I ever showed that to y'all because I was just making it, fooling around with it, see if I can actually make it. And, but anyway, I like the bow. That's cute. I'll, um, I'll show it to you, uh, maybe next week because I don't know where it is right this second. But that's what the little mats are going to look like. And, that's really cute. You know, remember I said this is a, you know, when you put it in, your little picture can go right up underneath there so it fits. So I think this is really cute. Now I'm going to be adding more pages to it, of course. And when I get it all done, but I got enough stuff here to do two books just with those four sheets, four or five sheets. Not even using the whole thing. So, anyway, anything else anybody want to see before you go? Because I have an announcement to make and I want you guys to hear it. Um, if you hung in there with me to the very end, um, and if you've been here, shh, Ricky Hush, I don't need your input. <laughs> but if you hung in here to the very end, um, then... Um, I need you when the video goes live to, um, go make a comment on there. I don't care what you comment, just comment, um, something about tonight, something about the album or something anyway. Um, and I've already written down everybody's name that was here. So, um. Well, that's not true. I haven't written it down, but I know who was here. You, it was Michelle Riker, Jackie um, Newton, Julia Satterfield, um, Chris, and uh, I think that was it. Michelle, Julia, Chris, Jackie. Shirley Wilson came by just for a minute or two. She didn't stay, though. So, anyway. I'll tell you what to do. Write down... Write down... Um, when you go to the comment section, if you watch the end of the video, which I know who did. I know all of y'all were here. Just write down something that... You, um, 
Write down something you would like to see me do. Some kind of embellishment you'd like to see me make. Because I'm going to be doing embellishments next week. And I'm going to be using some of these circles that I've cut out of stuff to do some. Y'all, I'm telling you, I ain't wasting nothing. So that's what you need to do. If you've been here the whole time, write down, or at least to the very end this time, write down um, something that you would like to see me make as far as embellishments. And then I'm going to pick a winner and I'm going to uh, have one of these made for you too. So... So you can get one too, and I'm probably going to put about, I don't know, 10 or 10 to 20 pages in here. So, and what I'll do is um, I'll cut out extra little pieces so I can send the little embellishments to you and everything too. So this won't cost that much to, to mail to you, and I will probably send it to you without the rings. So that way I can mail it in a flat envelope, or I can send you the rings in a little thing, but I'll make sure it's all together. But I'll send you some extra little pieces and stuff so you can do corners and that kind of things if you want to. But you need to comment down below what you would like, what kind of embellishments you would like to see me make next week. And then um, I will put your name in a drawing for one of these. Because one of these is going to be mine for my grandbabies. If I ever get to see them and spend time with them this summer. But anyway, thank you all who showed up tonight for supporting me. I really appreciate it. I know there's a lot of things that you could have done and you could have been anywhere, but you took time to spend with me. And I appreciate that. And um, so, yeah, I will see y'all all next week. I will have a video out tomorrow um, of my blue... <laughs> blue glitter mod podge creation or whatever <laughs> well i enjoy my time with you guys i do um it's been a little hectic i've been crowd i haven't done a lot today i i worked so hard this past weekend on my house and stuff that um i i really hurt myself um i haven't been able to hardly walk and I said, you know, this week I got to chill. So I haven't done much except for play, you know, play on my little town and uh, craft. And I have to take breaks crafting because it really hurts me sitting up in the street chair. But, but um, yeah, that's what I get for doing too much stuff over the weekend. But anyway, I enjoy the crafting part. <laughs> so, um, yeah, don't forget. Comment what kind of embellishments you would like to see next week for your chance to win one of these cute little albums. And I'll do a whole lot of little pieces for you, too. Um, so you can decorate it with those. And I, I'll include a sheet of the acetate in there as well. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all tomorrow video. <laughs> With whatever weird creation I come up with, the glitter Mod Podge in blue. And Jackie, I look forward to seeing yours. And then um, I also have a video coming up tomorrow, a keto living video, because um, when I explained all that in Monday morning coffee, yeah. So um, I work really hard on those videos, and uh, I can't do anything with them on my other channel because I don't have that many subscribers yet. So I'm going to go back to Friday's having keto living just once a week on my channel. But I have a really good recipe up for tomorrow. So, all right. See you guys. Love you. Bye.